Eric Jones from Equality Mobile, man, in my shop. Uh, just got through taking all my stuff out of my wagon. Now we're supposed to have some bad weather coming in, so I never leave my stuff in my van. So, but, uh, you know, um, I always keep my stuff organized, like I said before, you know. Uh, I got about two of everything, and uh, that's how I keep it organized. And uh, just took my tank out. Of course, you guys know that I... I got my uh, license, my business license on my tank stuck there. And another thing I've been working on, man, check this out. I've been practicing because everything I've learned, I'm self-taught. So, I mean, I watch videos and stuff like that, but I'm self-taught. This is a pneumatic two-piece professional automotive LB spray gun kit. And what I'm about to start doing, I've been practicing uh, just on certain things. I'm going to start spray painting spray painting the wheel wells for people. Uh, Cause I hear, uh, I run into a lot of people that want me to spray paint or uh, shoot the uh, wheel, uh, underneath the wheel wells, you know, keep them black. So uh, I've been practicing that. So I already bought my pneumatic guns. So uh, I can start uh, doing this here uh, sooner or later. Let me turn this around. You gotta try to reinvent yourself. Like I told people before, you know, I'm an idealist. I come up with all type of ideas. You have to look around you and see what do people need or want. And nowadays society is not necessarily a need, it's what they want. So if you can figure out what do they want, you got you a good business. See me, I'm in an area where there's detailers out here, but they don't last. See, when it's 37 degrees or 29 degrees, uh, those uh, detailers, you know, they go into hibernation. Me, I go on the hunt. <laughs> I don't hibernate like that, man. My customers still need their vehicles detailed when it's cold so they know that I'm going to come out. So uh, what I'm about to do now, man, it's another hustle game you guys can think of. Uh, I don't empty the beast out, right? But I got my trailer right here, man. Y'all see my trailer already hooked up to the beast. So what I'm about to do now, I already got uh, a mattress in here, right? It's a box mattress. Y'all see my dolly in here. What I'm about to do, man, I'm about to go move a person. You see what I'm saying? I got my trailer here. It's just sitting here. So you can run into somebody and uh, you can hear them say, hey, uh, you know, you can be at the furniture store. Exactly what I do, you know. And I hear somebody say, well, how much is for delivery? You know, and they'll say, whew, y'all charge a lot. And I catch them, you know, on the outside. Maybe I say, well, uh, I can deliver it for you if you want. You got a trailer? I say, yes, ma'am, I sure do. Bam, there's you some extra ching-ching. <laughs> like I said, man, so many ideas I hear, man, you guys can use. I'm telling you, man, I do it all the time. But your mind has got to stay on wine. It's got to stay moving. Look around you. Look around your environment, man. Um... Some people say I'm lucky. Uh, I don't consider it lucky. I consider it, if you have a plan on paper, I always put your ideas on paper and see if it makes sense to you. If you plan that out and it works out the way you want it to work out, that's not called luck. It's called preparation. You see? Luck is when something just happens. But if you prepare for it, it's preparation. Don't let nobody douse you because your idea worked. And you'll get a lot of people like that. They'll douse you because your idea worked. But just keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep grinding. Keep thinking your ideas, man. Because people out here, entrepreneurs are out here every day. I see them every day in different fields, man. They're hungry, man. If you stay hungry, whew, hey, man, you got a successful business come. But always help people along the way. You know what I mean? Help people along the way. Don't be so selfish that uh, you're trying to keep all this information to yourself. I, I, I run into people like that all the time, detailers. You ask them something, they're like, um... Uh, I was like, I never mind. I know what that's about, you see? But I don't do that. People ask me questions, I answer them, you know? But anyway, man, you guys be cool on the stool. Go out there and keep them ideas rolling. Deuces.